Oh yeah, it's a goner. If it hasn't started, oh wait, no way! Oh, do you see this? Those? No, no, not those. This. This is the greatest thing ever invented. No, I take it back. Greatest thing ever invented. <laughs> This is a water filter, and it's it's pretty simple. You put water through the top here, it filters it through this thing around somewhere that, yeah. And it comes out completely clean and filtered and nice. Now you guys are probably like unspeakable, why are you explaining what a water filter is? Well, what if you could filter the orange out of orange juice and turn it into water with this? And that is exactly what we're gonna be testing it today, but we, we got a lot of other products to test as well, but um, I'm excited. Before we get started with this experiment, um, um, I need you guys to leave a like on this video and also click that subscribe button, of course, because I upload vlogs uh, every other day. I upload a vlog on Tuesday, Thursday. I try to do Friday, but if not Friday, I do Saturday and Sunday. Definitely click that subscribe button for sure, guys. But let's let's do this. Let's start off with uh, a simple drink. Let's start off with Gatorade because I'm pretty sure Gatorade already has like quite a bit of water in it. I mean, compared to like orange juice, I guess. I don't know. I don't know the ingredients. We're going to open this bad boy up. Fresh container. Now we open this and we're going to pour it into the top. Oh, oh, oh. I'll save a little bit for myself. There we go. And now you can see it filtering through the bottom. It's kind of slow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's water. There's no coloring to it. Look. What? No way. <laughs> well, you want to see it? Come here. <laughs> Keiko over here is looking at me like, what is hey this? Hey guys, I was just looking over on the side and Look, I'm very impressed. It's actually water. Like it's completely clear. I did not think that was going to work. What? You guys can still see it in there. I don't know if you can. Yeah, you see all the blue in there. It is filtering. Do more. It's completely clear. That's so weird. Okay, you do your video. I'm going to leave now. Okay, have fun making coffee. So it does take a minute to filter through all this. So um, I'm just going to let that sit and uh, I'm going to drink this. Oh, Kayla just choked on her coffee. <laughs> Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> it is still filtering through here, but I think we got enough to test it. So I got two glasses here. We're gonna pour the normal Gatorade in one glass. Here we go. So that's our normal Gatorade. And then we're gonna pour the filtered Gatorade in this other glass. Oh, it does have a little bit of a blue tint to it. It's very, very, very slight. There is a very slight blue tint to to this one. So now I'm gonna drink them, see if they're any different. So I'm, I'm sorry for the normal Gatorade first. Yep, yep, still tastes the same. What about this one? Oh my gosh, it actually tastes like water. I'm not even kidding. Hey, come here and test this. Just so they don't think I'm lying. Two drinks. Obviously you know that this one is like the real Gatorade. So drink this one. <coughs> just so you can get a feel for what the Gatorade tastes like. Uh, uh, get some more in there. Yep. Yeah, come on, keep going. Keep going. More, more. <coughs> okay, there you go. Now try this. I'm freaked out. It That's tastes like water, doesn't it? Literally tastes like nothing. It tastes like it tastes I mean, like water. Well, well, water doesn't really have a taste water to it, like but nothing. like it literally is water. I'm not even kidding. It still has a slight bit of blue in it, if you can see that. That, that that's water. That, that's water. All right. Oh, I slid way too far. <laughs> now I want to try. Forget it, we'll try the orange juice. We have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Let's just say 50 more liquids to try. <laughs> I'm kidding. We have like six, maybe five, maybe fifty. You'll have to see. Orange juice, fresh container. The only thing about this video is like you guys like have to trust me on this. Like when I said that that Gatorade tastes like water, it really does. I'm not lying to you guys. I'm not like lying just so like the video is better or anything. Like if it doesn't. If it doesn't taste like water, I'm gonna tell you guys, of course. But it's honestly kind of hard to believe that like putting Gatorade through a water filter literally filters it into water. I have no idea what it's gonna do for the orange juice, but here we go. Oh my gosh, it looks like water. No way, you're lying. Look at this, do you see that? It literally looks like water coming out. I swear, if this tastes like water, I'm gonna be done. We'll wait for this thing to do its uh, filtering and things and stuff. And yeah. While we're waiting, I'll show you guys all the other stuff we're gonna do. We're gonna do coffee. I don't know how that's gonna go. We're also gonna do lemonade, which I think is gonna work really, really well, just like the Gatorade. We also got sweet tea as well. Red Bull, which is gonna be interesting. And we got chocolate milk. Chocolate milk is gonna be cool. I swear, if you can filter the chocolate out of milk and turn it into 
water. I'd, how would that even work? I don't know, but if it does, I don't know. I will be extremely shocked. I will be, I will be questioning this device and I will be like, well, how did you do that? Let's try to pour it into here. This is the orange juice. It does have kind of an orange tint to it. Come on, buddy, get out of there. Come on, there's still a little more. Come on, keep it going, keep it going. Okay. Okay, I think I messed up a little bit. What I'm pouring right now, you see this? See how there's orange juice coming out? That's actually the orange juice that's still in here that hasn't been filtered yet. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's not that much, but there is some in there. There's literally nothing in here, but if I start pouring it, somehow stuff comes out. Take two. Will you filter now, buddy? What about now? Did I clog the filter? Is there too much Gatorade sugar in there? What have I done? There's nothing coming out. I think I may have bad news. I don't think the orange juice is gonna work. It's simply not filtering through, and I think that's because orange juice is a very thick liquid. Thick. Unfortunately, the orange juice is um, not being filtered, which means I can drink all of it, so that's good. I've cleaned up the thing a little bit. Now let's try the chocolate milk. Hopefully the chocolate milk works. Ooh, fresh chocolate milk. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. You, I, I gotta have some donuts with this stuff, but you know, that's the good stuff. Here we go, pouring it in. I hope this works because chocolate milk is pretty thick as well since it is chocolatey. No, isn't that gonna work? Guys, I have sad news. Really, really sad news. The chocolate milk here is not filtering. I'm pretty sure it's because the chocolate milk is too thick. I've actually replaced the filter as well with a brand new one that's completely different and poured the milk in and it still doesn't work. I'm so sorry, this video is a failure. The orange juice didn't work, the chocolate milk didn't work, the Red Bull's probably not gonna work. It actually does, it works, I know it's gonna work. Don't mind me, just gonna replace this filter again. Oh yeah. Ah! Hit my toe, hit my toe, hit my toe, hit my toe, hit my toe. I'm just not having a good day. Leave a like, thank you. I got a fresh filter in this bad boy. Hopefully it works now. We're gonna try something a little bit different. Red Bull. Well, at least from watching this video so far, you know that you can filter Gatorade into water. But can you filter Red Bull into water? That's the real question. All right, let's go ahead and open it up and pour this more in. Oh, I can hear it fizzing down there. Please work. Let's pour some more. Oh, it's working, and it looks like water. That's so weird. Look at it, look at the bottom. It's dripping out very, actually, wait, no, it's going pretty fast now. There it is, dripping out. You can see it. It is working, okay. So let's get our first glass here. This is obviously the real Red Bull. Where we'll pull this out. Come on, come on, come on. There you go, there you go. A little bit faster, okay. Is it almost done? Oh no, it's still going, it's not, okay. We'll, 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 we'll give you a second. Since you didn't work on the orange juice and the milk, you might want to work on this, please. Oh, I missed. Any day now. Any day. Okay, okay, it's done. It's done. It's done. Oh, there is a huge color difference here. Well, actually, not that huge. Here is our two drinks. This one right here is the one that went through the filter. This one right here is the Red Bull from the can. So they're not too different, but let's try it. First, we're gonna try our normal Red Bull. Yep, that's disgusting. Now we're gonna try the filtered Red Bull. Wow, there is no way that that tastes like water. Okay, it tastes like water with a slight, slight hint of the taste of Red Bull. But like, this is very strong because there's a lot of caffeine, there's a lot of energy in this. So it's a very strong tasting drink, but this literally tastes like water with the slightest hint of the flavor of Red Bull. That is so weird. Are you serious? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I, okay, all right, let's do the next one. Our next one will be lemonade. So here we are. Lemonade, 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 fresh seal. There we go, okay. Absolutely beautiful, all right. Lemonade, in you go, have fun, enjoy, enjoy. Get filtered, there we go, uh-huh, and okay. Goodbye. All right, we'll sit for a sec, let that get, let, let, let it do its, do its thing. And it is filtering, which is good. be pretty much done. It's um, barely dripping. Let's go ahead and pour it in a fresh glass. So here we go, filtered lemonade, which still kind of looks like lemonade. I'm being completely honest. And then we have the normal lemonade here in this other glass. Here we go. Oh, wait, actually, the filtered lemonade is like darker. That's kind of weird, not what I expected, but here we go. This glass right here, this is the lemonade from the jar. This glass is the filtered lemonade. It's actually kind of darker, not really what I expected, but let's try it. Normal lemonade is first. Ooh, that is some really, really lemony lemonade, but it's good. Filtered lemonade. 
Wow, that literally tastes like water with like a small, small lemon in it. If you've ever gone to a restaurant or even done it at your house, if you've ever gotten a glass of water and just drop a lemon in it and then right after take a sip and it's just a slight, slight hint of lemon, that's exactly what this tastes like. This thing filtered like all the sweet flavors out of that. Wow. What? That is wild! All right, next up is the coffee. Now, hopefully this one works. I don't think it will, just because the chocolate milk and the orange juice didn't, but who knows? This is just a vanilla frappuccino. So let's try it. I gotta empty this thing real quick. All right, everything is clean and empty. There we go. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Is that that's fine. All right, hopefully it works. Hopefully it works. Cross your fingers, cross your fingers. That should be enough. Oh yeah, it's a goner. If it hasn't started, oh wait, no way. Oh my gosh, it's working. Oh. Look at it. It is actually filtering. You guys can kind of see it. It is actually filtering. I did not expect that to work considering the chocolate milk and you know, the orange juice didn't. Okay. Okay. We about to try some filtered coffee. This is probably going to be disgusting, but you know, it, it is what it is. It looks like it's almost done or it's getting clogged. Uh, oh, no, it's done. It's completely empty. Filtered coffee going in this glass. Going. Yeah. It still looks like coffee. Still looks exactly like coffee. Okay. And then we're gonna have the normal coffee in this glass. There we go. Okay, so it does look, actually, no, it looks exactly the same. Almost exactly the same. So this cup right here is the normal coffee. This cup right here is the filtered coffee. So one is just slightly, very ever so slightly darker. Let's go ahead and try it. Normal coffee. Yep, that's coffee. That's a nice vanilla coffee. Hey, whoa, that's actually really good. All right, filtered coffee. What am I drinking? It's like watered down coffee. Like it still has a little bit of that coffee taste, but like everything else like it is gone. Like I can't taste any of the vanilla or like anything else that's in it. It pretty much filtered it all out. Like if I, here, hold on. Okay, so yeah, yeah you can taste that. You know, like going down your throat, you're like, mm, yeah. And then this, you're like, <laughs> I'm kidding, but yeah, that actually worked pretty well. I, I'm surprised, I'm surprised. This whole thing is done well. All right, our last drink we have to try is sweet tea, but I need to clean this thing real quick, so I'll be right back. Water filter is clean. We also put a fresh filter in there so it wouldn't taste like sweet coffee tea. Ooh. All right, here we go. Great, okay, well, it is, um, it, it's filtering actually really well. Wow, okay, I'm gonna go clean this up. I'll be right back. And I'm gonna go empty these out. You know, sometimes in life you make messes, but as long as you clean it up, it's all good, right? Our sweet tea has filtered here. There's not too much of it in there, but you can see it, it still looks exactly like sweet tea. Hopefully it doesn't taste like it, or hopefully it does, I don't know. What should I be hoping for? I have no idea. All right. There we go. Then we got our normal sweet tea right here, pouring it into this cup. Now these look almost exactly the same here. Can't even tell the difference. The only difference I can tell, so this glass right here is a sweet tea from the bottle that wasn't filtered and I can actually see through it. Like if I put my finger here, I can see through it and it's not very foggy. However, the filtered one is extremely foggy. I can't even see anything through it. Kind of weird that it actually made it dirtier. Like I said, I did put a fresh filter in here. So it was a brand new filter. So I don't know, let's try it. Here we go, normal sweet tea. Yep, that's, uh, that's wow, that's very sweet. Okay, well, probably because it says extra sweet. So, yep, very sweet. Very, very sweet and uh, non-sweet tea or the filtered sweet tea that probably will be non-sweet. Anyway, yeah, that, that tastes like water. Wow, that's, that's really weird because it doesn't look like water. It looks like very, very muddy, gross like pond or water. That's really weird. Now you can just slightly, ever so slightly taste the tea just a little bit. It still like tastes like water. That is so weird. That is so weird. All right, we've actually used all the drinks here, but before we go, hold on. I gotta try this one more time. I gotta try this one more time. I just wanna see if it, no way, it's actually working. It's very, very slightly working, but it is working. The more the better, right? Probably not, probably not, I don't know. It is working very, very slightly. It's literally just doing like droplets. One, two, three, and I think most of this might actually be the sweet tea that's still kind of in the filter. I don't know, it's like already clogging it. The droplets are literally slowing down. Ah! 
like, I just want to filter my orange juice through my water filter and... <laughs> But you learned from this video that you cannot filter your chocolate milk and your orange juice. So if you try it, don't. But you can filter your sweet tea, your lemonade, your coffee, your Gatorade, or energy drinks. You can filter all of those things and they'll taste just like water, which is extremely weird. The drink that tastes the most like water, I would have to say, is Gatorade. It was actually water. Like there was no hint of Gatorade, of sugar, nothing in there. It was literally water, which is impressive. Anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. I know this was very, very different from building a giant Lego house and ramping a RC car up it at like 30 miles per hour, but you know, it's sometimes things have to change. And I'm okay with that because this was a cool experiment. If you guys wanna see more vlogs like this on the channel where I sit down and do kind of like interesting experiments like, like, like this, simply all I'm asking for you guys to do is leave a like on this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Before you guys go, definitely be sure to subscribe as well so you guys can get uh, pretty much uh, notifications for when all the new videos come out. That's kind of how it works. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, <laughs> goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, uh, goodbye. 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 Have a safe and fantastic rest of your day.